Hey guys, what's up? It's Ari and for today's video I got inspired by Ava Gridley because she used to have these really cool like create and chat slash like 10 minute art talks where she would just like talk to you guys about like whatever was like going on in her life while she made art and so yeah that's exactly what I'm gonna do with some acrylic paints today so uh let's get started <laughs> all right so I'm feeling kind of like an abstract piece right now like very very abstract because I'm just feeling a little all over the place lately and I figured that that would be kind of the best way to get what I was feeling out. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So I guess the first topic I'm going to start off with is I am starting senior year in just a few weeks and I'm just terrified. Like, I, like it's... I've been nervous about starting school before, like my sophomore year. Um, I just transferred schools, so like transferred schools, switched states, and a lot of other things <laughs> that was just really stressful. But I don't know. I'm so scared for senior year just because I feel like it's just the idea that like you're supposed to have what you want to study, what you like where you're gonna spend the next like four years ideally and yes I know you can transfer it just feels terrifying and you know, I don't like not knowing <laughs> right now is what it feels like I mean I'll probably you know I'll, like know later um, yeah so that yeah I'm also I'm kind of scared because of like the required classes I have to take in order to graduate the first one being so, I am not great at public speaking. It terrifies me to my very, very core. And the sad thing is, is so this is a class that you are required to take um, junior year typically, and I'm waiting till. And <laughs> I waited till senior year. Because I got really, really scared of public speaking last year and I ended up crying, so that was not fun. So my school did let me defer it a year. I wouldn't recommend it, but also, I don't know, I took a class that I really, really enjoyed because of it. So, you know, it's like, so it's hard to feel too bad about it that I had to do that, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I was going to have to take it sooner or later, so... Yeah, um, yeah, um, I think that's just the number one class I'm, like, nervous for my senior year, just because I'm not good at public speaking, and it kind of bothers me that it's a required class and not just, like, an elective that you could take if you wanted to, you know, because it totally favors the kids who are good at public speaking and enjoy presenting. <sighs> I'm just not one of those kids. I mean, I did used to be, like, I used to love kind of, like, all the attention, hence probably why I started my YouTube channel. But things kind of changed. <laughs> yeah. Also, I don't know, so, I guess going back to kind of, like, my fears for next year, college is so scary. Like, I don't know who thought it was a good idea to let 17 and 18 year olds kind of decide um, where they're going to spend the next four years and as if we're capable of making smart financial decisions at our age. Or not. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. I just, I just find that scary. I mean, obviously you have your parents to like help you. But, yeah. It's like overall kind of <sighs> your decision. And I, know, I guess I'm also just kind of scared because I just don't know what, like, I don't, I don't, I, in case you guys couldn't realize, couldn't I'm like not knowing things. So not knowing when I'm spending the next four years where I'm supposed to grow and find out. It's scary. But like it's weird because like I've known what I wanted to do since I was really young. Like in elementary school and it hasn't changed and I've been told I'm good at it. Oh by the way, this isn't supposed to be like me trying to be like secretive. I want to be a film major. I want to be a cinematographer when I grow up. 
And the reason is, there are so many ways of going about it. You know, like you can start your own business, like you can be a videographer, like a wedding videographer, because like I love weddings. I think they're so cute. I love the idea of like, I don't know, people getting married. I think it's normal. Um, which brings me to my coworkers letting me video her wedding and I am so so excited because it's gonna be like my first like wedding videography like thing and I have so many ideas for this and I think it's gonna go really well I hope it goes really well um just because I want to make like I don't know I want to test it out and see if like I can see myself doing that for a living or because like when I was little and it's still kind of my dream is to work on Holly like big Hollywood movie sets you know like be the DP <gasps> how oh my gosh to be like the ultimate DP oh my gosh that my friend would be really fun and as of right now I'm feeling like doing but things can so easily change so yeah I want to test it out to see if I do like it because who knows you know I can do both because weddings aren't quite like wedding videography isn't quite as saturated as like wedding photography which is nice this is the finished product um you can tell it's very very abstract and just lots and lots of use of colors because i just was feeling very all over the place and so that's what i wanted this video to i guess show so anyway if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and comment down below if you like videos like this and i will see you guys next time bye